So, yeah, hi. This is Dr. Bernardo. Please introduce yourself. Hello, Bernardo Becerra from Mexico City. I'm also commissioner to the Federal Agency of Cannabis of America, based in Mexico City. There we go. We are here now at the backside of the Expo, Cannabis Expo by Juicy Field in Santa Fe, Mexico City. Exactly. And we are just having a little talk about, like, yeah, the whole cannabis situation. We're in between. We're having a little, yeah, Mexican uh, appetizer. Appetizer. Yeah. This is, what did I tell you? It's Blue Dream, right? Blue, Blue Dream. Dream. And what do you got there? You didn't know what you got? I tried this. I think it's ah, think this fast, is also, no. think fast from Amsterdam uh, seats, right? Mm. They shared. So, let's talk about the situation, the cannabis situation here in uh, Mexico right now. So, how is it like? Like, can you, can you, when, when I imagine Mexico, in my imagination from Germany, it's like, yeah, brick weed, right? A lot of shitty brick weed, which you can just pack a lot of and just throw it over the border and sell it for cheap price over in LA. That's what my, my imagination about Mexican wheat. No, tell me there. We see there's a change. This is a, a, a blue dream. It's a really nice wheat. It's a proper wheat, quality wheat. I got seeds in there, but it's quite well. Grown in Mexico. Yeah, definitely. Indoor, proper. I think it's an it's a Mexican indoor. May I? May I? Yes, of course, please. Sure, thank you. You're welcome. Blue dream. Mm -hmm. The cannabis situation, it depends on the economy. If you're run, running really low on cash, you might get a break. Basic. And be careful with the bricks because from what I heard, as it's that when they pack, they pee on it. That's why it smells like ammonia. So be careful, don't do bricks. Blue I Dream. Yeah, dude. Oh, Did you know that? No, That's the secret no, when it smells no. like like ah like, uh. so but, but the aroma I, I have the, the aroma of blue dream if you close your eyes you dream blue that's the aroma and first memory receptors I would say like if we go for the terpenes for this strain I mean it's definitely a sativa right or uh, mainly like sativa dominated you get this fruity like blueberry i definitely get the blueberry which makes the blue dream and it's like a little bit of forest in there earthy flavory turfy flavors you know what i mean this is well cultivated Mexican, not you are Mexican, right? I know that already. Mexican local. Local, local. He local, said local. It. See. He said it. So, how long do you smoke? 23 years. 23 years. So, how was the weed situation? How was the bud situation for you as Mexican local, local? Yeah. 23 years ago. What did you get? Did you get shitty Mexican bush weed? Brick weed? Or what did you get? And how did it change? I mean, uh, explain us a little bit about how Mexico changed in, in it's like... open. Before, it was sanitized. And it was difficult to access. But, there's always a market. There's always somebody. So, so, but it was a lot harder. Now, nowadays, we can smoke f freely, I would say. There's a gray area. 
Did the, did the changes in the United States within the last years, according to, pro, to prohibition or to like legalization, did the change actually have an impact for you as user here? Because we all know it got on the cartels, and if we talk about cartels, we all think about Mexico as well, right? Mexico is the border to America for all those Latin American drugs, right? Known as drugs. So there must also be an impact on the on the cultivation of cannabis here because of the changing request with the United States. Is it like that? Do you get my point? I'm trying to see the scenario as you're explaining it. Because I heard in Europe that they said like the import-export situation about cannabis on the yes. American, on the US-Mexican border exactly. would have changed. There was actually a time where yes. like Colorado was overproducing yes. um, and two different states, three different states overproducing. You had producers sitting on tons of really nice creamy butts, right? Yes, I've heard. And I heard yes. that like the channels usually went one way into the US, yeah. started to become other way because the, 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 the better butts from yes. the United States they started coming in. Started to be imported. Yes. I mean, it's a flow. If you send a courier over there, why yes. should you come in, let him come back with empty hands, right? <laughs> <That is> well, <laughs> <no reason. laughs> 